If you're asking yourself and I'm asking myself, am I humble or am I arrogant? How would I know? Well, here's the test. وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا When people who have no control over their emotions talk to them, when idiots talk to them, when obnoxious people talk to them, when arrogant people talk to them, when ignorant people talk to them, when angry people talk to them, when insulting people, disrespectful people talk to them, and somebody insults you, it hurts. When somebody talks to you badly, it hurts. But Allah calls all of those people jahilun. Jahil actually in Arabic is the opposite of aqil. Jahil means someone who has no control over their emotions. A bad word comes in their mind, it comes out of their mouth. They don't think about it. So you're driving in the streets of Qatar, and some guy cuts you off, and you honk your horn, and he stops his car, and he gets out of the car, and he's at you. And you're like, oh yeah? I'm gonna show you. And you start responding back. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا Eh, سَلَامًا Assalamu alaikum. Okay, sorry. You're right. I'm wrong. Go. Go. <laughs> you have to learn to do that. And if you can't do that, then you are disqualified from category number one. You want to be in category number one, and you will. Allah does not say if, if you see, if, if ignorant people talk to you, if you know, obnoxious people address you. Allah says when. I talked to you about the difference between if and when yesterday. When means it will happen. If means it might happen. Allah says it, there's, no, there's no possibility percentage it might happen to you, it might not happen to you. It will happen to you. It will happen to you. It happens to me all the time. All the time. I was at a masjid, not over here in America, I was at a masjid. And I was sitting in the, talking to some board members about some program I wanted to do. And a brother walked in and he heard that I wanted to teach Arabic. He was an Arab fellow, he was an Egyptian fellow. And he heard that I wanted to teach Arabic. And I'm, he's like, you teach Arabic? And I was like, yeah, a little bit. And he said, where are you from? I was like, Pakistan. And he said, oh yeah? And he took out a napkin and he said, write the alphabet for me. So I wrote down the English alphabet for him. <laughs> and he said, you see, you don't know Arabic. I was like, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then he started teaching me the alphabet, 30 minutes. I sat there and I learned the alphabet with him. And then he had to go, and then he left. And that night, that night, at the same masjid, they asked me to give a lecture, the importance of learning Arabic. If you go on YouTube and you search how to learn Arabic and why learn Arabic, why study Arabic? That lecture was at that masjid. And that guy was in the first row, smiling at me the whole time. <laughs> but he comes to me and says, You, Pakistani, you're going to teach Arabic? I'm going to go, Oh, yeah? Oh, sh sh no, 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 wait, wait. It's okay. It's all right. You're right. I don't know anything. It's okay. Don't get worked up. Don't get all full of yourself. If people speak to you in that way, it's okay. They have a right. You know, and, and you, you don't know why people speak to you in this way. There may be some other things going on in their life. You know, and they come to you and they let their anger out on you. You have to be kind of merciful and courteous to people. They were, they were women. They were men that came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and started yelling at him. From the Badu. They were Muslims. They started yelling at him. And you know, and the Prophet sallallahu didn't get upset. He just calmed them down. The Sahaba would have killed them. He said, no, relax, let him, just peace, you know. This is a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. When people say things that make you angry, you just gotta calm down. And by the way guys, men over here, your wife will say a lot of things that make you angry, boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And when you hear that, you don't say that she's jahil, but you do say salam. Just be quiet. Don't talk back. Sisters upstairs, ladies, your husbands will say things that will boil your blood. Oh my God, you will get angry. And Allah has given you a special power. I have three sisters, I have a wife and I have four daughters. I know girls have special powers. And their superpower is they can answer you in a way that will like stab you in the heart. Oh my God, they have the most amazing answers. They'll be like, ah! But you, sisters, 
When your husband is out of control and he's becoming too emotional or too angry, shh, salam. Change the subject. And salaman, qalu salaman does not mean that Allah says you have to say salaman, somebody's fighting, you're like, hey, salaman, salaman, salaman. <laughs> not like that. That's not what that means. Let me tell you what salaman, salaman could be a hal here in grammar. You know what that means? They speak calmly. They don't just say the word salam, they speak calmly. They speak peacefully. They speak in a way that disarms. That doesn't make you angry. I remind people that Allah Azza wa Jal told Musa alayhi salam to be nice to Fir'aun. To be nice to Fir'aun. Fir'aun tried to kill Musa alayhi salam when he was just a baby. Fir'aun killed thousands of babies every year. He called himself God. There are so many reasons to hate Fir'aun. And Allah says, when you go to him, وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنَا If you have to be nice to Fir'aun, what about your wife? What about your husband? What about your children? What about your cousins, your brother, your uncle? These are the people that make us angry. These are the people. Family makes you really angry, I'm telling you. I know. Siblings make you angry. And these are the people that deserve the most soft responses from us. We have to change the way we, we behave with them.